Yeah, I mean, it, it's been a, I would say, a year-long process, and one of the assistant coaches brought up the idea that, you know, everybody talks about us being hunted, 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 and we're just, uh, we're taking everybody else's shots and holding on to the last minute of games, and we wanted to change that mindset to, why aren't we the ones hunting? Why aren't we the aggressors throughout the entire game? Um, it's slowly built throughout the season, but I think at this point in the season, uh, that has to be our mindset, and that is our mindset, to be the aggressors and be the hunters. Kind of the same question to the players. Uh, you know, if you had to count three, I mean, I guess you guys would do this last year, but totally new season, what you've done the last three months, doesn't really matter at this point? Not at this point. After the season, we'll certainly uh, celebrate and have a banquet, and talk about all the things we accomplished as a team and individually, and, and it'll be great. But now is not the time for that. And so it is the, the idea that we're zero and zero in postseason. We've talked about three different chapters for the season. One is the non-conference season, the second is the conference season, and then the third chapter is the postseason. And so we are zero and zero. We want to be as hungry as we possibly can be right now and also as humble as we can be, knowing that in the postseason right now we haven't accomplished anything. Does the experience help? I mean, exact same position pretty much as last year? Yeah, I think the experience is a positive. The experience of, of going through the tournament here in Birmingham, there's going to be a lot of familiar situations. We do have a lot of respect for all the teams in the league, uh, and so we know that we're going to have to play one really good game on Thursday, and if we do that, hopefully they'll let us stick around until Friday. And if you repeat that, hopefully stick around until Saturday. But we do have the dream and the vision of uh, compete for the championship here, but we also are very aware that you have to play great on Thursday. Is this noon tip time worry you at all? Not necessarily. There's there's positives and negatives to it. You know, certainly it'll be more difficult to just get huge crowds because of the work schedule and class schedules. Uh, but I do think, you know, as the number one seed, if you can advance through that game, you are playing earlier in the day, so that uh, allows more rest time. And at the end of the day, it is what it is, and we're going to look at it as a positive because we're able to play in the postseason and try to make something good happen. Last year, you kind of got to, I guess, pick your time slot. Is that how it worked? That's my understanding, yeah. yeah. What, what was your understanding of why you aren't picking your time slot this year? Uh, I think it was a conference rule. Uh, the conference decided that um, that it was going to be a strict format for the seedings, that the one seed would have the noon game time and uh, the evening session would be for the two and three seeds or that side of the bracket. So I think it was locked in and said there was no, no room for variance there. It's kind of the same thing you ask the players. I know that your focus is obviously going to be on just these guys and keep them focused on doing what they do best. How do you prepare, though, for a tournament like this where the turnarounds quick on, you've got two teams to worry about, and then four teams, and then you know the other half of the bracket if you advance. Yeah, well, we've obviously seen everybody in the league at least once, so the, the guts of the scouting report we already have, and we're prepared for each team. Um, the assistant coaches do a phenomenal job in their preparation, and so uh, as we as the game is finished tomorrow, we'll have two full scouting reports. <clears throat> Whichever team we play, uh, we'll be able to present that uh, information to the team, and then go do a glorified shoot around, walk through, and, and get ready. Our team, one of the positives we have is I think we're a very mature team, and they're able to take information and process information really well, uh, whether it's adding a new play or talking about a scouting report in a different team. So that, that's that been a strength of ours. And in Conference USA, also, you always have a one-day turnaround. So we are pretty used to the quick turnarounds. Well, um, obviously, the uh, Birmingham jerseys are fan favorite. You guys broke this after the Martin Classic. Um, is that something that you guys want to uh, maybe wear for the conference tournament in Birmingham? Show up at noon on Thursday, and uh, you will have an opportunity to see what we wear. Okay. First hand. Do you worry about the low crowd on Thursday at noon at that time, or do you think it's going to be? <laughs> now I, I worry a lot about a lot of different things, and that's not one that I can really control other than trying to do as many interviews and, and try and encourage people to come, but that's not something that you need to use the term worry. I worry about my team playing great, and uh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful it's a great turnout and uh, optimistic that it will be.